As kids head back to school, here's something really important for you to hear. Your child's public school does test kids to see if they're gifted and talented, but often that testing only happens if a teacher recommends your child. Lori Lizaraga is here. Lori, the way this has been set up for years, it sounds like what you're about to report, a lot of kids have been left out of this testing. Well, it's called the Cognitive Abilities Test, COGAT. And with the teacher's referral, it's used uh, nationwide to identify students. Aurora Public Schools saw that as a problem when they started looking at the numbers because in a school district that's more than half Hispanic, well, the gifted and talented program didn't reflect that. So the district decided to make a change. As a parent, you know your kid is special, but if your child really is gifted and talented in the classroom, it's up to teachers to see that. And we found that there were a large percentage of students that were just slipping through the cracks because teachers didn't think to nominate them. Slipping through the cracks. That's what was happening to students in the Aurora Public School District. And we knew that there were gifted students out there and we were not able to identify them using the process that we had. And teachers were frustrated and we were frustrated. Carol so Dallas is the district's gifted education coordinator. Alexis. And she was concerned because in a district that's 15% white, 54% Hispanic, the gifted education program was mostly white. We uh, work with these students every day. We know their names. Um, we just had to correct this. Instead of waiting on teachers to recommend students for testing, Aurora Public Schools tested every student at 10 pilot schools using a localized test. Helena. The results shocked even Carol. I was not expecting this equity shift. I thought there'd be something, but not this dramatic. Representation across every race changed significantly. Black representation increased by nine percentage points, Hispanic increased by eight, and Asian overrepresentation was reduced by five percentage points. So it was significant. The pilot program revealed a lot of change and not just in race representation. The new numbers include more girls, more immigrants, more English language learners, and more free and reduced lunch students. We're finding those kids a place and that's really who they are. And once kids find that and you program for that, they soar, it's amazing. Carol Dallas went to the Board of Education and District Leadership. She asked for 10 more schools to continue testing the pilot program in. So the pilot program is now in 20 schools starting this semester in the Aurora Public School District. And if those same kind of changes happen again, Carol says she'll be recommending that the changes go district wide. It's really fascinating to see how much change there was. And it really makes you wonder how many kids over the years just missed out on this testing. Absolutely, and, and for every one Aurora Public School District who is making a change and going above and beyond to actually see the difference, it's probably dozens and dozens of schools who aren't, and that's significant. Good job. Thank you, Lori. Thank you.